Here's a review of last week's Tesla earnings call. Elon stated a production rate of 5,000 Model 3s and 2,000 Model S's and X in the last week of June and for the each week in July. And they predicted to be able to maintain this rate in Q3. I found this chart from Bloomberg showing the complete history of Model 3 production with over 68,000 Model 3s produced so far and the current rate of over 5,000 units. This chart shows July's daily production rate of the Model S, X, and 3. Elon said he still hopes to achieve a total of 10,000 cars per week in the future. They said that their manufacturing at volume is mostly a software problem. I think because since their manufacturing line is so automated, improving the speed of the manufacturing has really become a software issue. And he said they're very good at software. They announced that the Model 3 U.S. market share in July surpassed all other midsize premium sedans combined. Tesla achieved a 52% U.S. market share compared to a combined market share of BMW 3 Series, Audi A4, Mercedes C-Class, Lexus IS, and the Jaguar XE. In the first graph I found, it shows back in April they were about to take over the market share, and then in the second graph, uh, in July, they did achieve taking over the market share for the midsize sedans. They also mentioned that the top five non-Tesla vehicles they've received as trade-ins on the Model 3 are the Toyota Prius, BMW 3 Series, Honda Accord and Civic, and the Nissan Leaf. They also were thinking of testing out direct delivery to customers. Elon stated in Q3 and in future quarters, they should be cash flow positive, assuming no downturn in the economy. As you can see from these charts, the first chart, Tesla has gone uh, cash flow positive a few quarters after the introduction of each product line. And from the second chart, it appears that they are on their way there. Stuart Bowers, who Tesla recently hired from Snap as VP of Engineering, talked about Autopilot V9, the long-awaited on-ramp to off-ramp solution. It will automatically change lanes based on traffic and will start to understand what's going on around the vehicle with new safety features. It will understand what lane the car is in, understand the route the user wants to travel, and ultimately hand back control to the user. I believe what they are shooting for is that once you're on a highway on the on-ramp, the Tesla will drive itself with steering, cruise, auto lane change if there's traffic and it will automatically take the appropriate exit, passing back control to you on the off-ramp. Tesla's website describes it this way. Once on the highway, your Tesla will determine which lane you need to be in and when. In addition to ensuring you reach your intended exit, Autopilot will watch for opportunities to move to faster lanes when you're caught behind slower traffic. When you reach your exit, your Tesla will depart the freeway, slow down, and transition control back to you. Elon introduced Andre Karpathy, the director of AI at Tesla. Andre has a PhD from Stanford and is heading up the vision team, which is designing and training the neural networks that allow the Tesla to understand what's around the, the car. Peter Bannon was then introduced, and he talked about Tesla's Hardware 3, which includes Tesla's new AI computer. It's a drop-in re direct replacement for existing Hardware 2 computers on Model 3s, S's, and X's. Tesla realized that the NVIDIA GPU-based computer was not ideally suited for running their neural network software, and Tesla went off and built their new chip that, are, that is tuned to what their neural network's processing required. Tesla's neural network self-driving software needed a computer chip that can perform a massive amount of matrix multiplications with local on-chip memory. Tesla realized that the NVIDIA GPU chips with an external CPU and memory on a comparatively slow memory bus simply had too many bottlenecks and could only perform 200 frames per second compared to Tesla's new computer chip, which is able to process 2,000 frames per second. It's not completely clear, but this new Hardware 3 Tesla computer may be required for full self-driving, and it may be a free replacement. The Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai, China, 
uh, was introduced and will cost about two billion dollars and aims to build 250,000 electric vehicles per year. It's going to be a single plant that's going to produce both the batteries and the uh, cars together. They plan to use a loan from the local banks in China. Thanks everyone. That's a summary of the uh, earnings report. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. And I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. Check it out. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you can use my referral code and get unlimited free supercharging. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.